Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to um, my happy mistake, I guess you'll call it. This is a Delta printer that I have been designing for a little while. Um, the mistake was made where this ended up way too small <laughs> for what I intended. Um, some of you might know I've been trying to design a Delta 3D printer, a small one, right? Like a 120 by 120 build area Delta printer. And I made this frame a long time ago, maybe even a year ago in CAD. And just this past couple of weeks, I've been working on finishing it off. I didn't really put too much attention into making sure that it was actually big enough. I kind of just went, you know, this is the biggest one piece size I would want to fit on a printer on like an Ender 3, just like the Rook. And I figured, oh, a 120 build plate fits on here. Perfect. That should be great. And uh, it turned out that this is uh, much smaller than that, as you can see by this spool holder here for scale, or this spool of uh, filament for scale. This is 70 millimeters build area by 95-ish millimeters tall of, of printable space. This is a very small printer, um, and I think that's maybe why it's so cool and uh, why everyone on my Discord is like modding this now and going crazy. Um, this is out right now on printables. You can find the description in the, the link in the description below. Um, it's fully working. It's about, depending on what parts you have, um, it's under $300 US to build this printer. If you have motors already, uh, this uses just standard NEMA 17 motors. If you already have motors and you have some linear rods laying around, the price can be significantly cheaper. It is designed to use a Big Tree Tech Pico. That's kind of really all that'll fit in here. However, you can certainly take the CAD and modify the top base to fit maybe smaller boards as well. I did have the intention of building this with like a Pico and a Raspberry Pi and using UART. However, my UART died on this for whatever reason, so I've been just powering it with USB. Um, but it does fit a Raspberry Pi Zero underneath. I'll, I'll show off a bit closer video and kind of go through the printer a little bit more near the end of this. It does have a magnetic top, so you can pop this on. Victory Tech Pico is up here and then the Pi is right below it. It is a uh, Bowden, of course, being its size and, and trying to keep this really lightweight. It is a Bowden. Um, it's a very beginner friendly uh, printer to assemble. There is not very many parts. They all go together very easily. The belt path is very straightforward. It's just a straight line. Um, I think this is a, a great little printer to just have sitting beside your computer printing PLA, you know. I would really like to see more people design some models that will fit this printer. So I think in the future, I'm gonna have a design competition on my Discord to design models that will fit this printer just some fun little models, maybe some useful models that people can print out on a little mini printer like this. You can obviously travel with this printer. It's very, very small, um, compact. I'm sure you could even power this with like a battery pack or something like that for some off-grid printing and stuff like that. Um, it's, it's a very cool little printer and I hope all of you will enjoy building this little one. There is gonna be the proper 120 millimeter size version coming soon. Um, most of the parts won't change on this. Essentially all I'm going to do is split the body and add a 50 millimeter um, section on the corners here and it'll basically gain 50 millimeters of build area. The rods will change from 250 to 300 and there you go there's a 120 millimeter delta. Um, this does obviously follow in line with the Rook. It's mostly 3D printed printed frame, top and bottom. Um, the arms are even printed here. Again, I'll, I'll show you all a closer look of it up close. Um, but the arms are 3D printed. I am using some metal uh, ball joints from AliExpress, very inexpensive. I'm using IGIS bearings to keep it nice and quiet. This is the early prototype. I've already put a lot of fixes on this on printables. So I have clamps now for the bearings here. 
um, the effector is better, you know, that type of thing. So this is uh, turned out to be a, a pretty cool printer. A lot of people are excited about it. It does have double shear um, motors on the bottom here. So double shear support for the motors. There are F695 bearings, three of them in the bottom here. That's fully support the motor shaft. So you can really tighten these belts down nice and tight. Um, yeah, it's just a fun printer to build. It's a fun printer to modify. People are already going crazy on Discord, doing all sorts of mods, making their own carriages, bottoms, feet, like everything. So I'm hoping that this printer becomes pretty popular for people who really like this miniature and minuscule little tiny printer uh, kind of form factor. I'm not going to lie, it's definitely not a very useful printer, being only 70 millimeters of cylindrical build area and like maybe 95 millimeters of height. It will print a Benchy, of course. Um, it does print very well. And I'm very excited to see all the people that build this. Um, this the printer, I'm calling this MIN, so M-I-N, um, because it's a minuscule little tiny printer. Um, and yeah. I kind of just wanted to make a video to announce that it's on printables. Everyone can go ahead and start printing this, building it, modifying it, having fun. Like I say, I'd like to see some people make some models just specifically to print on this little uh, build area. I want to put out a big thanks to Mitsubishi, Kaza, kind of everyone on the my Discord in the channel for this printer. There's been a lot of feedback, um, trying to make things better and a flurry of interest and things like that on this printer. So if you like small form fact printers, definitely check this one out. Um, if you want to support the channel, check out my Patreon below and let's do a quick tour around this printer and show it off a little bit more. Okay, here you go. Here is a quick overview on Min. So again, mostly 3D printed. You can see the printed arms here. They're very small. So 3D printed arms definitely work. However, you could certainly use some carbon fiber tubes if you wanted to do a mod on that and just epoxy these arms in. These um, ball arms here have quite a bit of thread. They probably come down to about here. So there's a lot of uh, material there to you know glue in and make those nice and strong. This version here is a prototype, so it has these clamps um, that clamp the belt down. However, the latest version on printables actually has a wraparound belt system that I designed. And basically you would put some M3 screws in from the front and then there are clamps to actually clamp these bearings down if you're using IGIS bearings like me. You can see here our double shear support for the motor. So we have bearings supporting the motor shaft. We can get these belts nice and tight so that it's not bending the motor or anything like that. Uh, one piece frame on this version min here because it's so small. So this is all one piece. The top is all one piece. We're using six um, 250 millimeter linear rods. This is Bowden, of course. I am using a uh, bamboo hot end. This supports genuine hot end and also bamboo clone hot ends. 3010 cooling fan. It has a very robust uh, 5015 cooling fan for the printer this size, which is pretty awesome. Um, you can see here, I'm using an HGX light extruder on the back. Um, I wouldn't mount it in this orientation. Uh, I did have an issue with this actually press fit coming undone. It's not designed to be printed like, like uh, being used like this because it's primarily for direct drive. So I'm gonna rotate this around and then I'm going to design a mount that has a coupler here that goes into a piece of printed um, plastic and mount it upside down proper to fix kind of all those issues. But a Sherpa Mini would work on here, BMG, clone extruder off Amazon, all that kind of stuff. Um, my motors are on the base, of course, and then all the wiring just runs up to the top. Um, there's not a whole lot of room here. So like I say, if you're building this printer, I would highly recommend you go for a Pico. You can see my um, prototype modifications here. I was never intending to run this on USB, so I had to cut this out and I am using USB because my UART died either on my Pi or on my Pico, I don't know. And um, I do have a cutout here for the UART cable to fit a bit better. We can see our optical end stops here. 
there is a, a, a good amount of room here to get all your connectors in place and whatnot. Um, I think it's just enough room. And then, like I say, this is just magnetic with some um, three by six magnets there. So six millimeters wide, three millimeter tall magnets. Um, but yeah, there's a quick overview of Min. Definitely check out my Discord. I'll leave a invite for all of you below. If you're interested in a little tiny itty bitty printer like this, um, definitely check out my Discord because a lot of people are already excited and uh, building this guy. So thanks again everyone watching and like, share, and subscribe.